All right, um, day three, back on the job. Suited up today, I gotta get back in this attic. Um, the, the guy building the house, or not building it, but flipping the house, um, he, he really liked what I did with the framing and the wiring. He's like, man, it looks like a professional did that. I said, heck, professional did do that. Um, but anyway, he wants me to get a light in this room. There's no, there's no light whatsoever in here. It's just a receptacle or a light switch that works a receptacle. Obviously, you put a lamp on. But got to get a wire running from here up and over to a light switch. It's not a lot of work. It doesn't look like there's a lot of work, but I am going to have to get in this old 100-year-old house or 60-year-old house, and it's, it's rough in that attic. But that's why I got the suit on and the, and the hat. Um, I'm going to try to drill a hole in this top plate, but there, there is a sheetrock finisher coming over to finish the house with all of that, so I can cut a hole in here, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to look and see if I'll get lucky, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time, and I know that the, there's some sheetrock work needs to be done. So I'm going to get a wire run up and over and get them a light in here, or probably even for a ceiling fan. But that's what I'm working on today. Um, just another, another thing you might run into as a handyman. All right, I'm gonna try to take you with me on this. Trying some new editing stuff on these videos and maybe show you a little bit more of what I do instead of just before and after. First part of this job is just finding, finding that um, box, that light switch box. I don't know what I won't know what I need until I get there. So here goes nothing. The main thing. Or at least one of my highest priorities is not falling through this dadgum ceiling. I do not want to have to repair sheetrock. I really need to get out on top of that porch. If I can get on that porch, I might get to that wire better. All right, kind of regrouped. <clears throat> Still need to get my mask. I don't know if I can squeeze through that opening right there, but if I can get through there, there's a a porch out there. If I can get out on top of that porch, I can access that hole, that opening above that light switch a little better. But man, that's tight. I might have to knock a few of them boards out. But I'm gonna set the camera up. I don't know if I don't know if you'll be able to see anything or not, but I don't know. At least this way, if I fall through the ceiling and get killed, they'll know what happened. But they're not. The bad thing is, I don't. I'm not gonna know what all I need to take with me. I, mean, I need to take a lot of wire, drill. Still did not get a mass. Is there any way I can get through there without falling through the darn ceiling? I don't I don't know about this. <sighs> Gotta go get a mask. Ain't no sense in doing this without a mask. Alright, I am not going through the hole up top. It's, it was just gonna get really uh really dangerous, really foolish to do what I I had to um, consider doing the best way to do this is to just cut a square out. I'm going to try to get out one piece, pull it down, get my wires run, and then put that piece back on. They're going to got a lot of finishing work to do here anyway, so there's no reason in doing what I was going to do and then stuff. This. And there is one wire that comes up through here and it goes outside for this outside lot. I, I'm going to be careful not to hit that wire. But from looking from the attic, it looks like it goes up right here and ducks out. So I'm going to try to cut my hole 
kind of up top here. Well, that's, that's the plan. <clears throat> like I said, I'm trying to get the sheetrock out in one piece so that I can put it right back in. I got the sheetrock out of the wall. Good for me, there's no insulation in the walls left of the of it on the house. I hope I can run my wire straight down, up and over. I might pause the video, I'm running out of time on my recording. I thought I had 30 minutes, but I'll check back in. Alright. Uh, got a wire. Let's see, can you see this? Got a wire coming in the bottom and it jumped out at the top. What I need that wire to do is go, it's gonna go back behind the top plate into this covered porch. So it's not gonna be exposed. Go behind the top plate and then back over. And if I can rig it where it'll go that way, as I'm pushing up, I won't have to climb all the way back in there. So I'm gonna try to work it that way as I go. That's silly. That old insulation, as soon as you touch it, touch it, it just explodes into a million of particles of junk. I can feel my lungs seizing up. Uh, now the thing is, don't find a snake. Uh, support a ceiling fan. So at least while I'm up there, I'll know that it's going to be a good spot to do that. Two problems. Can't get the wire to pull. I couldn't find a hole. <laughs> so I'm just have to feed a bunch of wire up here. Hopefully that's enough. And then Take this piece of scrap and use it to mark a hole. I know that's going to fall. A little kink in it. It won't fall back down. Oh, God, I'll be able to see that. Try this again.
So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with what else I'm going to do right now. I'll put that piece of sheetrock back up and I'll put some tape and some mud on it just for the initial stick. Um, and probably I'll put a two by four here and here just so I got something to screw into. Of course, I got that anyway. So then I'll, I'll wire this up and I'll probably Cut the camera back on and get that wired up. And then I'll put the ceiling fan up another day. I haven't got those things yet. All right, quick update with where I'm at. I got everything wired up. Um, you already saw that. Got that wire come down. I got a couple wire nuts on it to keep it safe. Um, this switch, I gotta be careful. I don't get electrocuted while I'm doing this. This switch, Goodness, I'm gonna get electrocuted to show us the world. This switch works that light. So, good to go there. This switch here, that, I mean, it's gonna operate that eventually. It did work those receptacles. But now, as you can see, when I flip the switch, it doesn't kill those lights over there, or the lamps, which is coming off that receptacle. So the, the, I'm just gonna call him the owner, the homeowner, which the guy that's flipping the house, but the homeowner um, was worried that that receptacle would be dead if I took the wire and ran it up there. So what I did, um, for those of you that don't know, when you wire light switches, all the neutral wires just tie together and just continue right on up to the light switch or, or wherever. So what I did, um, these wires, this is all the hot wires. Two of those are, are one is power, let's see if I'd explain this right, the red wire, uh, no, one of these wires in this, there's four hot wires in here, one is bringing power in, one takes power over to those receptacles, which is how it stays on all the time, and the other two, are jumpers that come off and hit each light switch. They take power there. Um, those neutral wires, one is the neutral coming from the panel, one is a neutral going um, over to the receptacle, and the other one is going, I would have thought there'd been four, so I'm a little mixed up on that, but one is going on up to my light. Um, why there's not another wire going for this outside light, I'm not sure but it doesn't matter. Um, I didn't mess with any of that. So anyway, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. He'll be happy to know that. He'll think I'm an electrical genius and really nothing much to it. Those receptacles will, or that receptacle will always stay on now, even when this light up above is on or off. But that's where I'm at. I'm gonna probably just wrap this video up because all I'm gonna do is um, get all that back in the box, fix that hole, and that won't need anything right now until I'll mark that real good saying it's a hot live wire, but I'm a, I can tuck it up and um, keep the light switch off or even just cut the breaker off. But that's all I got to do and I'll be done with this little electrical job.